20 pound Astros versus 100 pound Astros. So we'll start with the uh, 20 pound uh, Astros. Let's get these Nike Air Maxes off. Ugh. I feel like it's cinched on the foot nicely. They feel pretty comfortable. Ugh. Yeah, so I think it makes sense for us to start with a speed test. We've got the tape here, let's set this up at this side. We've got the 20 pound boot sprint test in three, two, one. <sighs> What was the time? 4.51, not bad. Yeah, it's pretty good. I didn't feel like it moved around too much. The only thing, how much support on the ankle? <laughs> Let's move on to our kick test next, uh, where we're just gonna kick towards the goal from the halfway line. So 20 pound shoes, kick test from the halfway line in three, two, one. Top left corner. Oh, crossbar. You do feel it quite a lot in your foot, actually. More than I thought you would. Not Meg, oh, oh, he did it. All right, so I'm just gonna set up the cones now for our ball control test. One, two. 20 pound shoes, ball control test in three, two, one. Okay, let's see. That didn't feel too bad. I did feel it's a bit rough on the outside. You can see the sort of sole comes out a little bit. So that sort of kept tapping the ball. Not a bad result from my 20 pound shoes, to be honest. Oh, let's give it a little taste test. Refreshing. <laughs> let's start off to see how easy they are to get on. There we go. Yeah, they're not too bad. I feel like I can go anywhere. I can do anything. Top left corner. Oh, four out of 10 handstand. 100 pound Astros sprint test in three, two, one. 3.4. They're pretty comfortable. Um, yeah, that was pretty decent. So just set up for the kick test. Obviously we're gonna kick towards the goal uh, from the halfway line. In three, two, one, top right. Oh, I honestly feel like these are quite accurate. So I feel like I can sort of phone it in a bit better. I'm in a random bush retrieving the ball. So set up now for our ball control test. We've got a cone set up in this formation. 100 pound Astros ball control test in three, two, one. Let's go. Oh, that wasn't too bad. I felt like overall I had the similar control on the inside and the outside of the shoe. You know, I was pretty light. So yeah, I was quite happy with that. I feel like what's quite interesting is they're both priced in actually pretty fairly well. On the 20 quid boots, it will do the job. But that being said, you, I do just feel like I get a little bit more precision out of the 100 pound boots. Let me know which ones you would try and which ones you would have or even have now. I'd be more interested to see what you guys think. Very cool.